Hare Krishna. The mind stops us not just from achieve, achieving our dreams but also from pursuing them. The mind is often our greatest enemy and among all the greatest regrets that people have at their deathbed, often the biggest regret is if only I had done this. There are so many people who die without, without even trying to fulfill their dreams. And why is that? Because their mind deterred them. Their mind discouraged them. So it may be possible that we may not achieve our dreams. Nobody who starts off in their lives trying to do something special has any guarantee that they will succeed. So even if we try our best, there is no guarantee that we will succeed. But if we don't try at all, there is a guarantee that we won't succeed. And the mind demands certainty in a world of uncertainty that why should I work so hard if I am not going to gain success. And because there is no certainty in this world of uncertainty, the mind uh, subjects us to the certainty of failure by creating within us the fear about uncertainty of success. So such is the cunning deceptiveness of the mind. The mind is restless and it is also very obstinate. Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita in the 6th chapter 34th verse, Chanchalam Himanha Krishna Pramathi Balavadrudham Tasyaham Nigraham Manye Vayo Rivasudushkaram So Chanchalam Himanha Krishna Krishna uh, Arjuna Arjun actually says this in the Bhagavad Gita to Krishna that the mind is restless. Just like a child, a child may have many dreams. I want to I want to draw paint like this, I want to become a cricketer like that, I want to do this. But the child is so restless that the child will not achieve any dreams because of the restlessness. And our mind is restless like that. So if we let ourselves be driven by our minds, then we will stay childlike, we'll never be able to focus, we'll never be able to achieve anything. And the mind is not just like a child is simply innocent, but the mind is like a grown-up person who is powerful and obstinate. Pramathi Balabadrudham Mad strong and obstinate and it's therefore strong. it can be a dangerous enemy for us and if we do not want to be deluded by the mind to be trapped by the mind we have to be vigilant so by knowing that all of us have been given some potential and some purpose by our Lord by Krishna we can focus on doing our best to manifest that potential and to fulfill our purpose. If we connect with Krishna in a mood of loving service, then He will guide us about how best to manifest our potential and fulfill our purpose. And thus we can march ahead in life. So by, not, by learning to listen not to the mind but to Krishna, we can wholeheartedly pursue our dreams. And even if there is no certainty of success in the dreams at the material level, ultimately, whatever we dream to achieve, we dream to gain love through that. We want to be loved and be loved. And that's why we seek fame, we seek power, we seek so many other things. But if we strive to serve Krishna and strive to achieve in a mood of loving service to Him, then even if we don't get the worldly achievements, we will get Krishna. And that will be our life's ultimate success. So if you listen to Krishna instead of the mind, then we will surely achieve, we'll pursue our dream wholeheartedly and achieve our dream of everlasting love with Krishna without any doubt. Ma me asamishaya, as Krishna assures us repeatedly in the Bhagavad Gita. Thank you. Hare Krishna.